about 15 years ago, or maybe 20, uh, fossil dealers in Morocco saw an opportunity to get into another geocollectible in the form of meteorites. Uh, they found that a lot of locals are, uh, they're really uh, people that travel uh, across the Sahara Desert, knew about dark rocks that are scattered over the desert, and many of these turned out to be meteorites, uh, often wind blasted and um, uh, essentially preserved sometimes for millions, of three or four million years perhaps, in the extremely dry, dry climate of the Sahara Desert, which is Northwest Africa. And um, they uh, got some of these from the locals and took them to Tucson, which is one of the uh, most popular outlets for distribution of geocollectibles, uh, particularly from uh, Africa and particularly from Morocco. Put them on sale at uh, Tucson and they were very popular and uh, they got snarped up fairly quickly. People seen shoving each other, one sales rep climbing on a table to escape. The uh, they enlarged their outlet of uh, meteorites um, the next year and uh, more were snarped up. And about, uh, about f really maybe 14 years or so ago, they really, really caught on and became a item that um, uh, became uh, an item that you could get very reasonably. And particularly if you knew how to deal with the, with the Moroccan fossil dealers, they liked to bargain, they liked to hassle and haggle. And if you were good at doing that, you could get some really good buys on. Dad, I'll trade you this delicious doorstop for your crummy old Danish. Done and done. <laughs> Go! Uh, meteorites, uh, many of which, or most of which, turned out to be stony meteorites, which, of course, would be expected because stonies are the more common one. The metallic ones are less common. What happened, though, was the uh, meteorite dealers were t not too kindly taken toward the idea of two cheap meteorites showing up and um, a lot of misinformation circulated around about the meteorites that they weren't real, that they were fabricated, uh, that they were smuggled across the border from uh, unfriendly Arab states, particularly in Libya. And um, a number of things uh, like this took place to where uh, a lot of people became suspect of them. Uh, sort of the same way that uh, some people are suspect of Moroccan trilobites and other Moroccan fossils, which are really very, very unique and very nice. And um, uh, you can't duplicate something like a stony meteorite. Uh, you can't produce that. Uh, it's a product of immense periods of time, as are most geologic materials. You just can't reproduce these things because they are a product of mega time. Also, many of the Northwest Africa meteorites, when they're, when they're first seen, are kind of uninspiring. They're uh, dark looking, they're kind of rusty looking, and when you section one, when you slice one, they at first don't show too much. The um, metal, uh, um, metal uh, components that stony meteors, meteorites have uh, aren't, aren't obvious at first. It takes about six months of uh, just exposure to the atmosphere and the polishing of the surface that's been cut, that helps, but it takes about six months for that surface to develop where it really starts looking like a bona fide Mama says that he's bona fide. stony meteorite and uh, the Northwest Africa meteorites are bona fide. No, you stop it. Vernon here's got a job. Vernon's got prospects. He's bona fide. They're perfectly good meteorites. They don't have any exact location where they came from. They're gathered up often uh, kind of helter-skelter from the um, deserts of Northwest Africa. And um, some meteorite collectors don't like them because they don't have a specific providence. But in a way that's sort of foolish because uh, that's only a very temporary location on the earth. Meteorites are from space. Where they come from ultimately in space is what's really important. Anyway, it's a bonanza of 
or it's an oppor opportunity in some ways a bonanza to get some really really nice meteorites very reasonable if you uh, just have the opportunity to do it don't be afraid of them don't be afraid that you're going to get caught with or get uh, uh, something that uh, has very little value they uh, really are very nice and if you're interested in meteorites it's a way to go i'm sure the value of them will increase as time goes on they're not so plentiful now. The uh, extraction of, the, of them and the uh, showing up at Tucson has subsided. It's not as uh, uh, extensive as it was 10 years, 8, 9, 10 years ago, but uh, they're still showing up. Although you don't see them as much as you think you would. I'd see in uh, rock shops and some of the shows, I would expect to really see more than, than is available. And uh, there's a lot of them that were uh, came across through Tucson and uh, were available and should be available now. So it's an opportunity to look into and get some nice meteorites while you still can.